Well, with me is the mayor of Camelton, New Brunswick, Stephanie Engelhardt Polan. Thank you again for joining us on Down Home Corner, Stephanie. Uh, welcome back to the show. Kind of an odd time in Camelton right now, isn't it? It sure is, Steve. Thanks for having me. And uh, it's unprecedented times when they say it's a pandemic. Uh, that uh, I remember reading that in the EMO plan, but I think it was number 43 in the emergencies. So it's unbelievable. It feels like we're, we're in a movie. I know it is a, it is a bit surreal that, that that's for sure you know and uh for me the a bit of the surreal part was uh you know yesterday morning uh May 28th I wake up I turn the TV on and there is my favorite anchor Marcia McMillan on the air and in the middle of her newscast fourth fifth story I'm not sure uh, was a story about Campbellton. I go, my hometown's in the news. And then I see, this is not what I want to see. Anyway, so, um, and then by the time I went to bed, it was the lead story on both the National and uh, CTV News with Lisa LaFlamme. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of innuendo, there's rumors, there's all kinds of things going on, but let's go straight to the source. Tell us the story of what happened and where we're sitting right now. Right now we're sitting at not knowing how many people have been in contact with all of the other people that have been in contact with, you know, that Perk commercial in the 80s and so on and so on and so on. Um, <laughs> that's where we're at. Uh, this one uh, particular doctor practiced had 150 patients they've followed so far but they would all have family and their family would have family and then they would have brothers and they'd have sisters. So how many people? So just, if we look at, okay, one doctor, 150 people, well, 150 people times 10, we're talking 1500 people and we only have a population of 6,800. So this is not good. Yes. These, these, these numbers that we, we could possibly be on, because we all go to Sobeys and we all go to Superstore. We all go to Shoppers. We all go to Jean Coutier. There's only so many places and we've all been there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I mean, the, the, the numbers are hard to, to fathom when you think of how many people. But I, I, I don't want to, like, scare people, too. I mean, we're saying that these are the the amount of people that could have been exposed to uh, this person carrying the virus. And that's all we're saying Absolutely. at this point. It doesn't mean anybody And that's is, why is, the testing that they're offering to all of the people, it is imperative that you go get tested. Even if you don't have any symptoms, you may have been in contact with something a week ago. Mm. We don't know. So that's why Vitalite is setting up uh, mobile uh, testing at uh, the Civic Center. And residents are urged to call 811 to make an appointment. They'll, they'll make appointments. And you'll go at the time, just like at the hospital, and uh, they'll do the test. Okay, so, so to, ru to run this back now, just to make sure that everybody yep. understands and, and there's no confusion with them, um, if, if, if you want to be tested... Um, who do you contact? Who do you call? What do you do? If you're from Belgium to Saint Jean Baptiste, or even as far as Kedgewick, if you want to be tested, you dial eight one one. They'll ask you if you've got symptoms. You'll say no, but I'm in the region five, or the zone five, they call it, and they will book an appointment. Hmm. So just make the call, and they'll walk you through it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to be on a list in the media on the bulletin board at the Civic Center. This is going to be as much privacy as possible. I mean, this is only to protect. We, ha we have to squash the 150 people and all of their familia that, that's attached to that. We want to, um, they did 50 tests and six come back positive. Well, that ratio right there, 6 into 50, is 12%. Okay. okay. So 150 people at 12%, that's another 18 people. So it's not going to be thousands, but there's going to be more than the 12 cases that we ever got. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be able to squash this. We're going to have to stay home again. We're going to have to send out just for essentials. 
We're going to be no grouping together in the two family bubble. We're going to be lucky if we can keep it. Yeah. Because yeah. why would I want to go see my mother? Well, my mother lives with me, thankfully, but why would I want to go see your mother and bring it to her? Yes, exactly. Just across the street. Okay. Yeah. Just across the street. So um, it's, it's imperative that anybody that suspects they've been in contact with someone that works at the hospital or has a connection to the hospital, go get tested. It's going to be an easy peasy little thing. It's like two seconds and uh, little, a little uncomfortable in the nose, but we've all been uncomfortable in the nose at one point or another. <laughs> <laughs> you know, water others. up the nose, uh, I'm cool, whatever. Uh, like, you know, like it's... Yeah, there's it's, no, but there's no just, pain involved. There's no blood being drawn. There's no needles. There's right. no sharp that's objects what I meant. involved. Yeah, that's right. absolutely. It, it, it's 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 a, it's a, it's an inconvenience. And it's not a punch in the nose either. No, it's not like a punch in the nose. It's not no. going to make your eyes water. <laughs> no, it, it, it's going to make you go ooh. It's not going to make you go ow. Yeah, I get it. Right, I get it. Yeah, absolutely. So, so and the, the civic then we center? can put our mind at ease. It will be at the civic center, and um, the the people in Dalhousie and the Charlotte and the Eel River area, it'll be at the Inchair and Ice Palace. Okay. That's good. You know what I like? I, I was thinking about this today. You know, <laughs> you know, you know like... Uh, where in some areas, you know, especially south of the border, where there's the economy seems to be the priority as opposed to the safety in some places, um, mm-hmm. you're the opposite of that. You're, you're like the opposite of the mayor in Jaws, you know, like where <laughs> where the mayor in Jaws says, no, we've got to keep everything open, everything is safe. You're saying, shut her down, let's go, let's go test. So I, I you shut know, her down. yeah, and that's good, you know, I mean, and but look, let's, let's come, let's come the citizens too and say hey look this we are lucky we are very lucky we're not in a place like toronto or even moncton you know where you've got thousands more that could be affected we're talking a radius you say of what twenty five thousand or so um so this is containable i mean you know if everybody pitches in at this point so that's all and look we're, we're used to this we've been doing this for a while okay Look, it's inconvenient. Look, I know I want to go out and do this, but look, let's hunker down. Two weeks. It's all it's going to take. Two weeks. That's right. It's it's like a bad snowstorm that they don't have, that the plow isn't working. You have to stay home. Yeah. Okay. So have you been in contact? Exactly. You know, it's funny too, because I was thinking the same, the same thing. You know, I thought, you know, what a, a, a good scenario to describe, uh, to, to help people to connect would be, okay, picture we're all in the area back home and there's the major snowstorm that we've all seen yep. the, the mother of all storms and here comes the new mother of all storms. And so we go, oh, big yep. deal. We've been through this before. So we're all together in this one area. All we have to do is stay in one spot as most as we can, help each other out where we can, and in two weeks, we're through this. That's all it has to be. We have to flatten that curve. Like, we have to get control. We don't want, like, I did 12% of the 20,000 population. That's not a nice number. No. That's 3,000 people. Yeah. So we do, it's very imperative that we flatten this curve, that we take this seriously because we don't need to like knock on wood. You just heard me, but we don't need this in our nursing homes and it's not in our nursing homes. No, and We don't need this in our special care homes because we've got many of them. Hmm. We don't need this bibit here. I've been calling it the bibit because <laughs> it has different faces, right? Well, that's, you don't bug, know. that's bug in French, right? Or it's insect at, or something. Yeah, right? well, at least you can swat the bug. Well, here we don't know what to swat. There's no SWAT possible. It's invisible. That's the key. Yeah. It's invisible, and you don't know you have it until 21 days. Yeah. So what if somebody the has same symptoms? 14, but it's usually three weeks before the, the mutation is allowed, if you have it. So, no, it's, it's not good. So if somebody if somebody is symptomatic, who do, they, who do they contact? Department of Health? Is there a number? Is there a place? 811. Contact eight one one and see. There's two. There'll be two. One with symptom. One with symptoms. They'll probably have a, a whole spiel to, to read off, and then one without symptoms is probably a little bit different. So, no, call eight one one, and they're sitting there waiting for our calls. Okay, so they're they're right away knowing that there's a number eight one one. 
people can call that. Yes. So that should that yes. should bring down some of the fears there as well. You know, um, and it is a busy number, so don't fret if you don't get through. Just keep trying because there's a lot of people calling, and their little system can only ha- handle so much at a time. So. Don't, like, I've had messages, I can't get through, I can't get through. Keep calling. Just keep calling. It's just a matter of overflow right now, and and the system is, well, it's like the CERB. Like, apply anything online, sometimes the system won't even take your call. You're preaching to the (laughs) choir. I went through a three-week period where I made a mistake in the form. Uh, yeah, we I made a mistake the... on my husband. Oh and that's my been... God. We haven't had anything yet. Oh, oh it's my May. goodness! I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through that that rabbit hole with you. I finally, luckily, got mine straightened out after a two and a half hour uh, wait on the phone. But hey, I felt lucky to get through at the end. But uh, oh but yeah, I mean, exactly. You know, and, and that uh, and that you know brings up another issue that you know there there are tensions high uh, that that's everywhere right now. People are feeling it, uh, and it's easy to get angry sometimes at people you don't even want to get angry at, you know. Uh, but, exactly. like, you know, when, when we think of, you know, uh, a healthcare worker bringing the virus into Hamilton when they should know better, people are going to be very angry at that, you know. And, look, he's, from what my sources tell me, he's been fired. I don't know if you can confirm that or not. I'm, I'm guessing I that... I do not believe that has transpired. No? And I, no, I don't... I, that's too early to say that, but PTDT is certainly uh, looking on the HR part of it. Like, I mean, when he would have crossed over his plate and, and the reason why he was crossing would have been given. So anybody at the border, their plate, license plate and name and all that stuff gets taken down. So the investigation is going to be quick. It's going to be a matter of finding his plate number and finding the reason he gave at the border. So, you no, know, um, he may have used a valid reason, but ended up being an invalid. That's his professional association will deal with that. Yeah, and that's not a, I mean, like, while it does, I mean, while the hospital is in Camelton city limits, the city of Camelton does not really have control over the doctors. I mean, that's hired by Vitality, is it not? No, and, and I wouldn't, and, and the comments online have been horrendous. Um, I'm embarrassed by some of them because we don't treat our people like that. And I know people are angry and upset, but Facebook isn't a place to show colors like that because Camelton isn't that. And, uh, the, Oh, the, the comments are, I'm embarrassed. Um, because anybody looking at coming to the Camelton hospital, why would they come here? If the people act like that? Yeah. You know, I mean, that's xenophobia. And you that know. breaks my heart. It's, it's racist. It's all kinds of stuff. It's really nasty. And, and there's no need of that. I agree 100 percent. You know, I, I'm really uh, that that's that's one of my biggest concerns, too, is not just the virus itself, but the virus of fear nope. and anger and xenophobia and, and all the rest of that that goes along with it. And, yeah. here, and here's, you know, the thing is, too, is what, what these angry people are not getting is you're defeating your own purpose and you're driving yourself away from your cause, because in the end, like you say, uh, you know, like maybe there are healthcare workers that that may have to be replaced in this whole deal. And and look, they're they're not going to be coming into the area blind. They're going to know what's going on and what people are, mm-hmm. are are talking about. And if they're hearing, oh, they're angry at anybody coming from outside. Look, we may lose out on some really good doc- doctors that are over this. And look, what do you want? You know that the, you're not going to find somebody in Campbellton or Dalhousie to fill these healthcare positions. I don't think. Maybe hey, we'll get lucky, and there are doctors waiting to be hired. I don't think that's going to happen. But you know, I don't see them busting the doors down. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, and look, and, and I that's, do. That, you know, so I mean, we just don't have the available healthcare workers in the region to come forward on that and, and you know it, it's not like it's a region the size of new york you know but uh like you know so so by by display by by taking your anger and look you are you are justified in being angry you're justified that it was a healthcare mm-hmm. worker you're justified in all of that anger don't displace that anger don't channel it towards somebody who's not to blame and not only that yep. like look channel that anger into into being proactive right now because if you um if you if, if you get really really 
uh, down that rabbit hole of xenophobia and anger and lashing out, um, then what's going to happen is we're not going to find replacements for these people. Okay, let's let's be loving at least. You know, I don't want to sound you know kumbayaish. I'm not that way. Uh, but look, let's try and uh, come together on this. This region. I am so proud of, look, this is my home. And to see my home on TV as the lead story on the news, it breaks my heart. It really does because, I I mean, look, look, Stephanie, a couple, uh, for the last couple of weeks, I've been neglecting contacting Dominic Cardi, okay, the the Minister of Education Mm -hmm. in New Brunswick, because I thought, look, this is the man that that helped bring the whole thing uh, to the forefront. You know, he was the one yes, that got all the information. Right. He brought it to the yep. government. The government became proactive. They took steps. And look, our province hasn't had a death to this point as we speak here on the 29th of May. And and look, I hope, I hope we don't. Just but, knocked on wood. Yep. You, know, you know, so... Um, look, we we need the help in the region, you know. We we and and we need people to come together. This is the place that when I was a, a broken man, I, I you know, living in my parents' yep. basement, and I got back on the radio, and that community lifted me. Okay, they picked me up, and they For they, sure. they and they they treated me like with we respect. Loved you through it. You, they got we me through it. We loved you through it. <laughs> you That's did right. love me through it. And look, and, I, and, here, one of the reasons I stayed yeah. so long is I watched everybody in one of the poorest places I'd ever lived in my life uh, carry everybody. You know, like the the yeah. song "One" by U2, we get to carry each other. Well, that's what mm-hmm. happens in Camelton and Dalhousie and all of that region and Listagush, you know, yep. and, and there's another thing, you know, the bridge, you know, you, I've seen a mm. lot of racism come out, you know, in that. And look, and it's not even to do with the, the people on either side of the bridge. The government's made the decisions to do these. This was not a voted on thing. And look, Listagush, no, right. Listagush, to my <laughs> knowledge, okay, I, on the 29th of May has not had a COVID case. Am I right? That's right. Okay, That's so correct. so look, what are you complaining about the bridge about? If if even if people are um, being overly cautious and saying, "Hey, look, I should be able to get through." Okay, maybe the next time you will, or maybe next week we'll have something that'll deal with that. Just just hang in there, you know. Well, the bridge has created so much uh, stress and everything on everyone that I have snoozed anybody that talks about it. <laughs> um. I get a nauseous knot in my stomach when I think about the nasty things that I've been accused of doing when I am not racist. Um, not being able to come to Canadian Tire and I'm being called racist? What? What are you talking about? So there's been some craziness that has hurt me more than anything. Um, I had someone message me and say, oh, Stephanie, you're just a marshmallow. I said, no, I've got feelings. What are these people? Like, I'm not a piece of wood. So I find that both sides, I was disappointed with both sides. There's been comments flinged from people that I'm very disappointed about on, in Listigouch as well as in Camelton and Pointe de la um, I didn't make that decision for the love of God. I can't even make a decision to paint the bridge. So I can't well, even paint the subway. So I got no out, control. You pointed out to me in an interview, you know, and I, I had always felt that anyway. And then I even brought this up to Jeff Barnaby in the interview with him, you know, the filmmaker from Listigush, the director of Blood Quantum. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and, and he said, yeah, you know, I never thought of that, you know. And, and like, it, it made sense to everybody who brings it up, it seems, you know. But look, like you said, you know, Campbellton, Dalhousie, Listigush, uh, you know, Athelville, Balmoral, we're one community. We we're are. one community. That's right. That's right. And I had a little thing written about the the, the nasty comments about the doctor. And, and there's one line that I wrote that I just want to read to. It says, our neighbors across the river, our health care professionals, and those affected by COVID-19 need our support. They, they need that loving Camelton support. Let's be there for each other as they've been there for us with and with us many times in the past. It's that's how we feel. We understand that they're frustrated at the government, but saying you're not going to shop in Camelton is only going to hurt the people that own the business, not the government. The government don't give a crap, but our people do. Yes, we miss we miss our friends. We miss being one, and to not have participated personally in the war was about 
the pandemic wasn't about the feelings inside. Um, I was not going to go walk with 400 other people after being in my basement since March. You're referring to the protest on the bridge, right? That's right. That's yeah. right. And, and I just, I couldn't do it. How, how long ago was this? That was uh, the long Monday, the long weekend Monday, Victoria Day, which oh. would have been last Monday. Okay, so um, I did have about, I did have council participate. We're about a week or two away from knowing if infections yes, were sir. spread during that. See, and and they're going to blame everything on the doctor that ran across the river and came back and 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 did stupid things. But and he's responsible for a lot of it. Let's you know. But I mean, look, who knows? You know, but like he may have given it to that lady that finally saw her grandson for the first time that they hugged. Oh, I don't want to think about that, but that's possible. Okay, like mm-hmm. the the walk on the bridge wasn't about. I I truly believe in the the the, the symbolism of being one, absolutely. But during a pandemic, I want to be in a big big bubble and mm-hmm. zip it up to my zip zip it up to the top of my head myself. I know, and it's not black like, and white, you know. Like I mean, it's like you say, hey, look, and and so much so of what's I'm going on. So I'm a scaredy on. cat. Someone called me a scaredy cat. I said, yeah, I am a scaredy cat because my medical chief medical officer tells me I should be. So so yeah, people. So in other words, somebody accused you of being uh, afraid to to stand with the people because you wouldn't be on the bridge, putting yourself in danger of catching the disease. My, yeah. Yes, I was being bullied into trying to be there, saying, <laughs> "Oh, nothing's going to happen." I'm going. I can't take that chance. I have my mother with me, my grandson with me. I. It can't happen for me. Mm. I encouraged counsel if they wanted to participate. It was up to them. I had a couple of counselors that did, and and that's okay. I believe in the cause. I believe in the oneness. And but because of the pandemic, I can't believe in none of it right now. I want to stay home. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. So I mean, you know, I mean, like, look, for me, it's you know, when I saw the news of 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 you know, I, I they're calling it a cluster. I, I guess it's a cluster, yeah. a COVID cluster, and and hopefully it's contained and we stop it and and everybody is safe. You know, so far we haven't had a death in New Brunswick, and let's hope that that continues. So what do you what do you say to people right now who are scared or worried? Uh, how do you calm them? What do you say? I say, don't worry. We've, we've, we've gained control on this already once, so we know how. So it's not like it's unknown like it was in March. And GKBT is very confident, they, like they said, they're more ready now than they would have been in March for this to happen. So everything happens for a reason. This is just to remind us that we have to stay vigilant. It's not gone. We really thought it was gone. Like, it's not going to happen here. It's only Canada. But it's here. Mm. I said it was here March 27th. That was the first day we announced that it was here. Well, it's May 29th. Well, I'm two days later. And we're saying, please stay home again. Yeah. So it took, it took us eight weeks to go ahead. But we, we got this. It's just a matter of now we're going to find out who's got it. Mm. Then they'll then they'll recover because it's recoverable. Yeah. Um, rumors rumors talking about people dying. There's been no deaths. It's just a matter of once they they want to contain the spread. And in order to contain the spread, is that we got to stop moving because yeah. we move it. So not to be scared, just to go back to confinement. Well, at least now we can open the windows. It's not minus four thousand. <laughs> so. <laughs> And, um, you know, we still have snow melting on the front of the cinder loaf. So for us, it's not summertime yet. Um, it's coming, but uh, um, we just have a little bit more. It's like 20 days, 14 to 21 days that the worst is going to come out. So we'll know in the next couple of weeks. But, I mean, we get six cases. We might get 10 or 15 more. We're not going to get 14,000, I hope. Yeah. Um, and, you know, but I mean, and to reassure, to reassure, you know, the the uh, to reassure anybody getting tested and and everything too, you're going to see the numbers perhaps go up a little bit because we know. I, I mean, right. the the testing just reveals what's out there. I mean, when we know the numbers um, of 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 what, what what you know the mainstream media and everybody is reporting, uh, that's. Um, 
not necessarily reflective uh, of everything that's going on in society because if you were able to test everybody, then we'd know right. there are actually more. So, I mean, it, it, the, the ratio is still the same when you look at it. Go out, be careful, um, uh, you know, stay home if you can. Wash your hands, keep your surfaces at home, clean them more often with the Lysol wipes than, than not. Um, you know, doorknobs, anybody that comes in with groceries that, some recommend to wipe them off. Well, I wipe off my groceries. I really do. Uh, my husband's not allowed to put them on the table. They have to go on the floor. And <laughs> I hose him down when he comes in. And I said, uh, Purell, you didn't know what that meant before, but have you ever been Purell? <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's a new I know, verb, okay? I, you know, he's like, hey, I put that on my hands. It's Purell, I tell you, man. My hands are all oh, dry. It's Purell, pure right? Oh, but I mean, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but now it's a it's a verb. So uh, have you been Purell lately? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 there's new there's new verbs in the dictionary all of a sudden. But look, uh, you yeah. know, like I, I I appreciate you coming on, and uh, you know, we'll get this out there. And uh, you know, you you've been a friend to Down Home Corner since we started. You've always been available when we've asked for interviews, and you know, certainly I appreciate. Well, like I told you earlier, the reason I I agree to this is it because. It relates to people from down home. And if I was away, I would want to hear the news. So I am only doing what I would want others to do. So I am. it's my pleasure anytime, Steve. And as soon as you uh, get any other kind of information, if you want, you can stand in touch and uh, we can do another one in a couple of weeks if you want. Absolutely. You know, I mean, it's open and uh, my schedule seems to but be fairly... But if it fa- gets bad quick. Yeah, absolutely. You if know, it gets bad I... quick, we can do it right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't and... have to wait. But I mean... Uh... We'll yeah, do, well, uh, look, because I, mean, I, I believe in, in 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 loving and helping everyone because everyone knows someone here. Yeah. So it helps with the worry. It helps. That's why my Facebook lives started mm. was because mainstream um, media would come for a ten minute interview, take one line of what I said, and the way they went. Yeah. Um, so not, no information was getting out. So I did my first Facebook live in March as well, and. Um, you, you could tell my first one from my last one that I really had never done one before. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pro and, now, uh, I know, I know. But it's okay, I can read my notes, I read my notes anyway, and uh, it's just to re um, I guess, um, the summarize what the, yeah, summarize what they're saying and all that garble sometimes, it seems, medical terms and all kinds of stuff. Like at first I didn't know what any of this stuff meant, so... I take notes, but then I, you know, I make sure that everybody in English and in French gets to understand what's going on. And uh, I restarted my Facebook lives. I did one Wednesday, so I'll probably do one. I may do one this afternoon, depending on what the news is today. So if not, I'll wait till Monday. Yeah, well, it's good that you're reaching out. I'm glad you're doing that. Um, you know, uh, as a, I mean, I don't want to say former Campbelltonian because Campbellton's always in my heart, no matter where I am. So, you That's know, right. as a you're Cam- Campbelltonian forever. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I know, I know. I've been, uh, yeah, yeah. I've been blessed, blessed or cursed with it, and I'll take it either way. So it's uh, a little of both, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's made me who I am. Here you go. That's so, what I keep saying. Yeah. Well, well, look, what the. The, the, the form is, oh, the show is open to you anytime you want to come on. And if you want to do any updates through all of this, we're happy to offer you the time, uh, you know, as, as much as we can. Right on. Yeah, we, can get, we can get in contact more people and, and just reassure them that we are dealing with it. But just keep us in your prayers. Well, you know, as 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 we as Byron and I we were talking one day, you know, I was talking about mainstream media, this and that, and he laughed one day and he said, "Look, Steve, you and I are not mainstream media, man." And I laughed, I laughed, I said, "Well, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're right." You know, we, oh, we come both. On. We, I think you are. Well, well, it's a different. You both it, are in my eyes, anyway. Well, well, hey, we traveled on a different stream. You know, that's good. That's good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, so so have you now? You, do you feel you you've said everything you you need to say? Um, you know, I mean, I mean we're not going to edit anything out. This is not good. This is not for a soundbite. Uh, and as we we're saying, we're not mainstream media. So, uh, do you feel you've you've been able to say everything you want to say right now? Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, good. And the offer is here for you anytime you want to come back and say more. Thank right you. Right on, Steve. Thank you. Appreciate you being with us and taking the time this morning in the middle of having to deal with Lisa Laflamme and all these other people at CBC, oh too. You know, I mean, I'm telling you, it's just amazing. Oh, you're as important as they are. <laughs> 
Well, you still haven't changed the name to from uh, uh, from Bijou Street to Steve Bijou Street, but we're working on that. That's good. That's right, but there's no Englehart Street either, so let's not go there. <laughs> well, we're okay, there we go. We're on the same page. Hey, I, 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 You've I got one already. Same You've order. got one already. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Steve. Mayor uh, Stephanie Engelhart-Polan, the mayor of Campbellton, New Brunswick.